Austin's own Kitty Kitty Bang Bang. Venus Velvet, she is the South of the Border gal, of course, and um, it is rumored that she used to do some really bad work in Mexico. <laughs> so basically, she's this assassin, this dangerous assassin from Mexico, and the Texas senator hired Venus Velvet to come and, you know, do the deed uh, with Tia Juan Trixie, but when I got to El Rancho, the Kitty Kitty Bang Bang, to do my job, I, uh, I was seduced by the dancing, and, uh, and decided to stay. Uh, I'm an accidental East Austinite, and I'm so happy about it because it literally was the story of, I drove up from Brownsville, you know, $400 in my pocket. I got off on Old Torf and went to the East Side instead of to the West Side. Kitty Kitty Bang Bang was started on Riverside <laughs> when uh, Stacy Brakeall, she just loved Gypsy Rosalie and the burlesque and, and the art of it. And at the time, the revival was starting, but, um, but it wasn't here in Austin. This is for you and your womanhood. Use it as you may. The art is the striptease art. It's a story, and, and at the same time, um, you're, you're doing the striptease, you know? And, and never forget the comedy in it. You sort of burlesque, burla is a, is a Latin word, when you make fun of things. When you're able to make fun of yourself, when you're able to make fun of, of, this is, sex can be funny, you know? Sexuality can be hilarious. I grew up poor. I grew up in, in the poorest uh, part of Brownsville, Texas. It's a place called Cameron Park. College was a very proud moment for me. I was the first for both of my families. After I graduated, my uncle, who was so, um, um, he saw that and he said, you know what, I'm gonna get my degree and he already had his kids and it was very tough for him, but I inspired him to do that. And you know, that for me was amazing. Now I'm the executive director of Latinas Unidas por el Arte, which is um, something that I've just taken so much to heart and really tried working my best at because it includes work with kids on the east side that we showcase the art that the kids have done throughout the semester. And it's incredible. To see, I always get a little emotional when I talk about these kids. See, <laughs> um, but um, they're great, and they are—they just need that chance, and I'm honored to give them that chance. So, anyway, <laughs> see, it's. Um, but I love what I do, and um, I, th I guess in that sense, I'm so glad to have gotten off on Old Torf. A week. Involves Kitty for sure, um, whatever show on top of Kitty that I'm working on, and uh, the Lupe Arte administrative work as well as the programming work. I want to have it all. <laughs> I want to have no both. I can't choose. Every piece that you see, it's a girl trying to tell you about something. There was a 70-year-old woman in the crowd, and at the end of the show, she came up to us and she said, girls, I'm gonna go home and strip for my husband. <laughs> that, in essence, is, is what our motto is. You know, you're a woman and, and have fun with it.